Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for joining me in another episode of Living the Yogi's Life, where I share with you all the different aspects that goes into living the yoga lifestyle, not just on your mat, but in every aspect of your life. I'm back home here in Miami. I'm really happy to be back here at home. I've been traveling for a while, why I love to travel. One of the most amazing feelings is coming home after you've been away for a long time. It's like when you go away and you come back, you can see your whole world with refreshed eyes. And what that does for me is it makes me appreciate all of the little things that I might take for granted when I'm just going through my day every day here in Miami, like the sunshine and the blue sky and the wonderful ocean and the wonderful feeling of being home and all of the amazing fruits that are here in the tropics in Florida. So all of these things are really get to appreciate. Today's video is going to be about a small passion of mine, is about the fashion that goes into the yoga world. Now I know that some people think that these two ideas conflict, but it's one of the things that really coexists inside of me, which is a love for passion, a love for fashion and a passion for the practice. And these two things are just really so much a part of myself that I wanted to share them with you. So today's video is going to be a yoga shorts style haul. Oh my god, I love yoga shorts. Now I want to say that first of all, no one paid me to do this, none of the companies are sponsoring me or anything like that in this video. It's just something that I wanted to share with you. Now, number one, when I started to do the practice, I couldn't find any shorts that would fit me. I couldn't find any shorts that I really liked. And I'd love to practice in shorts. This is just something that I did from the time that I was growing up. Florida is really warm at any time. Even when I was a child that I would do any exercise was always wearing shorts. So then when I started to do the practice, I also wanted to wear shorts and I would look for anything. Like I would look for my cat's just here. So this is my little cat called Nephi. So hi to everyone. I don't know if you can see her, but maybe you will in a second. So, um, so when I was younger and I was starting to do the practice at first, I would practice in anything. I would practice in sort of boxer shorts and underwear and all kinds of crazy things, usually at home if it was underwear, don't worry. Now, now there are all these amazing companies that make really cool yoga shorts. So you don't have to look, you can just find the company that you really like. I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite companies here. Okay, first one is called, uh, or from Shakti is the name of the company, Shakti Active Wear. They make amazing prints. This is the first company that I found that really made shorts that embodied what I really love. I love the side string shorts. All of today's shorts are going to be side string shorts. There's a whole other group of shorts, but we're going to focus on that today. Love the print, love the fabric. Even though they're small, everything stays in place. There's actually quite enough fabric to cover your booty in the back and everything stays in place. Absolutely love these. Shakti, one of my favorite brands of all time. Now, next brand that we're going to look at is Onzi. Onzi, similar to Shakti, really cool prints, but not my favorite fabric. It's a little bit waxy. Some people don't mind the waxy fabric, but I feel like, I don't know, the Shakti fabrics are just more breathable. And these are actually a little bit thinner. So I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see all the way through. Definitely need underwear with them. Other thing is that these are one size. So for me, they're a little bit big. Definitely need to wear underwear. They're kind of a little bit loose around the sides, but again, love the print, makes up for a lot. Now, the next shorts that we're gonna go to are by KDR. KDR is a small company and these shorts are very small. I love these in the beach. I kind of feel like this, this is a really flattering cut. They have a little bit of this ruching down the back and since it's a raw hem everywhere, they fold really easily over. There's no, nothing gonna hang out over. Love these for beach yoga. I haven't succeeded in practicing in them yet in a class because I just feel they're really kind of see-through and I'm not really sure what I could fit underneath because they seem to be just about the size of some underwear too, but I love them for the beach and the prints are amazing and they're really, really flattering. Love the string at the side. You can see they're kind of smaller than your average shorts too, but again, really cool. Now, next brand, La La Land Comfy Wear. This is one of the newest brands that I've discovered, really similar to Shakti, awesome fabrics. Um, the thing that distinguishes them from Shakti is the wide waistband. Shakti and La La Land, they both have, I think, the, like two or three different sizes. So you can really tailor the size to fit. The difference in fit between these and Shakti is that wide waistband sits a little bit higher, hot, so they're a little higher waisted and they're a little bit more revealing in the booty area, which you may like or you may not like. But the fabric, even though it feels really good, is not see-through, right? So you, it's a pretty solid fabric and it stays in place when you practice. Really important. Okay, next brand is Sweaty Betty. These simple black shorts, they don't have a lot of prints, but they're, you know, they're simple, they're good. There's more fabric here. They're much higher waisted. I actually roll the waist down in these, but you can see that they just, you know, for a cold climate, they're from the UK, this brand. So it's a little colder over in the UK than it is here in Florida. Sometimes you need a little more coverage. Really good material, really solid, really well built. Everything just really works about these, right? 
Now the next brand, we got a lot of shorts, so bear with me. Hope this is interesting for you. Body Angel Active Wear. These are cool, love the tie-dye print, love the little detailing. They have the same kind of, a little bit of an oversized feeling as the Onzi does, so for me, they're not the best fit, but the fabric is nice, and the print and everything really makes up for a lot, but I do really, really like these, and I have practiced in these a few times, and everything stays in place pretty well. Public Myth makes these shorts and they also have the ruching um, or the side string right here on the side so you can pull them up small or you can leave them a little bit longer. The distinguishing feature here is gonna be that they're really low waisted and they have a thin waistband that the string doesn't come up on through the side. So I like these, it's a, it's a thick material and not as thick as Sweaty Betty, but definitely not see-through. They stay in place really well and they're very comfortable. Okay, Lily Lotus, Lily Lotus based in Hawaii. Oh, Lily Lotus girls, love your brand, love the whole lifestyle of everything about you. These are the only ones that are cotton, they're organic cotton, beautiful tie dyes. As you can see, they're a little bit bigger. Um, the, the side string doesn't come up as high, even if you pull it all the way up. Again, many of you might actually really like that. What is cool about the Lily Lotus ones is that since they're cotton, you can kind of throw them right in the dryer and look at their shape right back. One thing that I had to do to make these comfortable was this waistband was a little bit snug on me, even though the short fit really well. So I just stretched out the waistband, really like overstretched it, and then it worked. It just fit a little bit better after that. Okay, we're gonna continue with Bitsy Bottom. These are the sort of quintessential Bitsy Bottom shorts for me. They're designed here in Florida um, by some local girls who are just awesome. Um, the distinguishing feature about the Bitsies is the ruching on the booty area, which gives a little bit more material back there, a little bit more coverage. Love the prints. Not my favorite fabric, but the fit is awesome. Again, Shakti and La La Land are my favorite fabric, but this is just, I just love these shorts. I love the print, love everything about this company. Okay, we've got two more, all right. Athleta. Athleta is, I think, a subsidiary of The Gap. Love Athleta, they're a great brand. And these are actually swim bottoms. What's really cool about the swim bottoms, again, the side string at the bottom comes up and it fits real nice and has sort of a limit to how much it's gonna go because of the wide waistband up at the top. The material is great, so it's a typical swim material, but here's the hidden secret, a lining on the inside. That means no see-through. No see-through under any circumstances because they've been built to not be see-through as a swim bottoms. How brilliant is that like we sweat so much in yoga sometimes it feels like we're going swimming right or taking a shower just from our own sweat kind of nasty but we got to get that out so these are really perfect for that love all the colors and get a bunch of cool prints bunch of cool colors a lot of sizes you can find them everywhere in the u.s anyway because they're you know made from the gap last brand is liquido liquido active god i love their prints and you might look at them and think oh my goodness this looks crazy when you put them on they actually are really really flattering these have a really different cut i feel like they're halfway between the kdr cut and remember that her cut that was sort of almost like a bathing suit shape so this is like that bathing suit shape but they have so much more material so they actually offer you a lot of coverage now i've tied them up really small here but you could actually undo them and then you can really see you know they do have quite a lot of material so they can offer you a lot of coverage when you pull them up like this um, what happens is then the little opening for the, the the leg begins to sort of really tighten up so they don't they don't open down around the crotch area really really like liquido and although you might think it looks weird because again there's no seam it might look a little bit baggy but when you put them on it gives you a little bit of space to really open your legs and practice and all that sort of thing without having to worry about them sliding around these are all my favorite side string shorts. I think the most important thing when you practice is that you wear clothes you feel good in. You know, you wear clothes that when you put them on, you get inspired to practice. Two little tips that I want to I want to share with you at the end of this video. First of all, when you, when when you have days and I have them too where you don't feel inspired to practice, just change and put on your yoga clothes because if you put on some clothes that you know you're going to practice in, that'll just naturally draw you into your practice. Tip number two, I know not everyone can buy new yoga clothes all the time. Here's a second tip that I'm gonna give you. Whichever clothes that you have, if you wash them really well, like put them in the delicate cycle and don't put them in the dryer if they're in the synthetic material, just hang them up and wash them inside out. They're gonna last for a really long time. I've had some Shakti shorts for like five years that I've worn all, you know, really regularly and they really retain their shape and they really retain their color as long as you treat them well. But I find the synthetic materials, if you put them in the dryer, that high heat tends to make them fade and kind of leeches the material out of them really quickly. So I hope these tips are fun for you and I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the inside of my yoga lifestyle and my choices in fashion and yoga fashion. Thanks so much for watching everyone, namaste.